Since we're creating a custom lane, you may be wondering if it's possible that we could assign super elevation properties to this when it's in Civil 3D. We certainly can, we just have to add a couple more parameters. I'm going to start, let me drag this divider over, and I'll click Fit to Screen. We can see our basic lane as it is to this point. I'm going to come down to the Parameters panel here, and I'll choose Input Output Parameters. I'm going to create two new ones. I'll choose Create Parameter, and then for Type, I'll choose Super Elevation. I'll press Enter. Note that when you choose Super Elevation, it's automatically going to give it a name and a description. It will also give it a default value that's left inside lane for right now. I'm going to change this to none. I'll make the assumption that if I'm inserting this into Civil 3D, I don't want to put Super Elevation on it unless I actually tell it to. So by default, it will have no Super Elevation status assigned to it. Let's create another parameter. I'll choose Create Parameter. And then for this one, I'm going to choose Super Elevation Axis of Rotation. I'll press Enter. Once again, we get the automatic name, support AOR, and then the default value, unsupported. So when I insert this into Civil 3D, all I'll have to do is set the AOR value to supported, and then I can pick whatever lane slope I like. Now that I have these parameters created, I need to assign them to the links that are going to need Super Elevation. I'm going to select Link 1, and let me drag this over. I'll click Fit to Screen. And this particular link, if I drag down the in the properties here, the top has to do with the point, point 2, that is actually defining the boundaries of link 1. Let me drag this down. If we get down to the link area, you can see Apply AOR. Let me choose that. So this means that this lane will be able to be super elevated using these parameters. And let's do L4 as well. You have to do both, or in this case, I want them both to super elevate. If I didn't do both, then L4 would remain at its current slope. So since they're both going to super elevate, I'll grab L4 and I'll choose Apply AOR. Now, I would like to preview the super elevation here in the preview area. To do that, I've got to do a couple things. First, I have to be in roadway mode, which I am. Then I'm going to go to my target parameters momentarily. Let me drag these over, and I'm going to turn off Enabled with Preview. I don't want these fighting with my super elevation. Let's choose Fit to Screen. There we go. And then, just for a second, in the Parameters panel down here, there's one called Super Elevation. If I open this up, I can see the current grade that's assigned to each of the super elevation values that are used in Civil 3D. These are for preview purposes only. Now, we'll assume that this is going to be a two-lane road for right now. This will be the right outside lane slope and that's at negative 2%. Let me set this to negative 5% for a second. Now, it doesn't change just yet. What we're gonna do is come over, let me choose link one, and then to see this in the preview, I'm just gonna set it here for a second. We'll choose, let me go fit to screen so we can see it. I'll choose super elevation. We'll set this to right outside lane slope, and you can see that change. So now, if I go to right outside lane slope and I make this significantly more, negative 12%, we can see how that changes. Let's bump this back to negative 2%. So I validated that that is working now. If I wanted to hard code it on here, this is where I could do that. I don't want to hard code it, so I'm going to set this to none. That way I can drop the lane in if it's on the left side or the right side or if it's an inside or an outside lane, I can choose what I want. But at any rate, I've validated that it works. Let's go to target parameters again, and I'm going to turn these back on enabled in preview. There we go. So my super elevation properties are now assigned to my two links. One more thing I want to do before we move this over to Civil 3D. In the next session, we'll look at how we can assign codes to our points, links, and shapes. Those codes will be used to draw the feature lines. They'll be used to create labeling on the links or create render materials or surfaces. And the shape would be used for pulling material quantities. So we'll look at how we can assign codes to these objects next.